Farmer National Championship 2023 here in Sandestin, Florida. We have on the tee our 10.45 starting time from Baltimore, Mr. Patrick Carl. And next on the tee, the lead champion representing Palm Beach, Mr. Landon Murray. This 10.45 starting time representing Indianapolis, Mr. Carson Poe. All right, guys, have fun. Play well. Make lots of birdies. <laughs> Jim, what do you love most about the Junior Tour Power Brand? Uh, well, I think it's so well run and it's a great opportunity for kids of all ages to get out and have, uh, have just a great opportunity to, to compete and to make new friends. And, and I mean, I could go on and on. I love it. Jim isn't the only one giving a thumbs up to the Junior Tour Power by Under Armour and the 2023 Winter Nationals. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. The Junior Tour powered by Under Armour is all about family. That's why the 2023 Winter Nationals offers more than just golf. This event is about bonding with your kids on the course during the adult junior golf outing. If you wanted to show off your short game with your family, we featured a mini golf championship for everybody. Of course, we all broke bread together during our huge pre-tournament banquet dinner, and no one else gives golf families the stage like we do during our one-of-a-kind pre-tourney press conference. And what do fireworks have to do with golf? Absolutely nothing. But fireworks are awesome! And if you haven't figured it out by now, the Junior Tour powered by Under Armour is all about giving you the most awesomeness that is humanly possible. Now let's head back to the golf course, where the boys 15 to 18 H division came down to these three golfers in the final group. Final pairing of the day from New England. Please welcome Scott Petrosky. From Raleigh, North Carolina, please welcome Ethan Gilo. And from Baltimore, Maryland, please welcome Jackson Geyer.
from New England, Mr. Scott Petrosky. You are the 2023 Winter Nationals champion. How does it feel for you to say that? Uh, it just feels great. I've worked really hard for this. Me and my coach back at home, all my family and friends who've supported me. It's just an amazing feeling. What was the key to your success today? <sighs> today, I mean, just getting off the tee well, getting the irons knocked down with the wind. It was windier yesterday, but knockdown shot was the key for me this week, and it paid off. Would you consider this to be the biggest tournament you ever won? Yeah, definitely the biggest tournament I ever won. First national championship, so definitely a big one. What's it feel like when you see your parents over here taking video and they're having fun and they're, they're kind of following you in and they know what's up here? It makes me feel great. They've been watching me all 17 years of my life. They've watched me progress. They've seen me through the ups and downs of golf, and I can't thank them enough. They've done a lot for me. Is this a win you want to dedicate to them? Definitely. All their time and effort spent into me. It feels great to give them something like this. So it will be a moment I'll definitely remember forever, and hopefully they will too. Congratulations. You are the 2023 Winter Nationals Champion. Go give your mom a hug. Wiping away tears. I am wiping away tears. How, how do you feel right now? <laughs> I'm so proud of him. He has definitely put in the hard work, and I just know he loves this game so much. And to see him come out with this win today has been awesome. So, and now I can breathe. <laughs> you, you do need to like take a breath and uh, just kind of exhale. Was there a point in the match where you knew he had it? No, I think you always have to follow through to the end. So you can't take guarantees in life. You have to earn it to the very end. So um, you never know. Golf is crazy. It's an infuriating sport. You could blow it up on the last hole. So I'm just relieved. <laughs> he dedicated this win to you. What's that mean to you? Um, he's just a great kid and it means a lot to me. I know he really puts family first and we put family first in our life. So this is just an all around great day. What advice did you give to him? Because he, you know, came into the final group. What advice did you give to him entering this day? Um, you know, I tried to just give him his space a little bit, but I just reminded him yesterday it was a really tough round at 6.30 in the morning, freezing, and, you know, he didn't let the weather beat him, and I just said, just think about that, like you were able to put it up yesterday, so today should be a little easier. <laughs> Is there a celebratory dinner? That there'll be something at dinner? Um, well, it's just my son and I here. My husband and his brother are back home, so I think when we're all together, we'll definitely celebrate together. Congratulations on a great victory. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful time down here. And from Indianapolis, Carson Poe. Got a girl of 15 minutes in the kitchen, a team of the Eastern Shore, Raymond Dungey. And second place from Mid Ohio Valley, Addie Poe. Reagan, congratulations. You are the 15 to 18 year old girls, 2023 Under Armour Winter Nationals champion. What is going through your mind? How do you feel? I'm feeling good. Um, there's a lot of lessons to take from this weekend. Many being that golf is really hard. <laughs> um, 
but there's lots of positives, lots of things to take from it and use in the future, um, which makes me really excited. I'm excited for how the golf season is going to look um, over this year and the coming years and how everything's going to go moving forward. So walk me through that tough shot that I saw you hit on one of the uh, last holes. Yes. So unfortunately, I ended up near a tree, uh, slightly underneath the branches. Kind of an unfortunate situation, uh, but I tried my best to get it out into play. Um, and yeah, it's not ideal, but it all worked out. So yeah. So from summer nationals, when we were following you around, were your lucky, were your lucky charm? Do you still consider that to be true? Um, not really. <laughs> I wasn't in the tree on that hole, so <laughs> maybe you guys will bring me some better luck in the future. It wasn't my fault you were in the tree. You were there before I got there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the luck with the recovery shot there. It's okay. We can blame it on me. You're totally fine. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Under Armour.